My name is Dr Rita Scully and I'm a lecturer at Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. This video is on tricks of the light, mirages. I will introduce and explain what tricks of the light are and I will explain the different types of mirages including the Fata Moragan mirage. In order to help you understand this video, it would be useful for you to review two other videos first. Video 4, Lenses, for the introduction of light and the human eye. And video 10, Reflection and Refraction of Light. This would introduce the laws of physics, refraction, reflection, and light scattering. In this video there are some key words that we use. Mirage. They are caused by the effect particular atmospheric conditions have on the passage of light through the atmosphere. Inferior mirage is a mirage of an object visible below that object. A superior mirage occurs when the light below the line of sight is cooler than the air above it. Trick of the light. So what is a trick of the light? It is a phrase used to mean that what you are seeing is an effect caused by the way the light falls on things. It does not really exist in the way that you are seeing it. In this video we will look at one trick of the light, mirages. If you want to review a second trick of the light, look at the video Rainbows to see that one. Mirages are an example of a trick of the light. They are often seen as a sheet of water on the desert or on a hot road surface. They are caused by the refraction of the light from the sky by the heated air. The word mirage comes to the English language from the French mirage meaning to look at or to wonder at. Mirages are most common in deserts or where you have hot surfaces. They happen when light passes through two layers of air with different temperatures. The desert sun heats the sand which in turn heats the air just above it. The hot air bends the light rays and reflects the sky. When seen from a distance, the different air masses colliding with each other act like a mirror. The desert ahead seems to have become a lake, but it is actually a reflection of the sky above. A similar effect is often seen on hot road surfaces in summer where it looks like there is water on the road. As you approach mirages they disappear. The next time you're out driving on a sunny day look ahead on the road. See does it look like there's water on the surface. That is a mirage. There are two main types of mirages, inferior mirages and superior mirages. The Fata Morgana mirage is a specific type of superior mirage. Here we see an illustration of an inferior mirage. Usually the image is mirrored upside down. Apart from roads and land, 
inferior mirages can sometimes also be seen over lakes or oceans, since these surfaces can be very extended and flat. Inferior mirages are not stable. Hot air rises and cooler air, being more dense, descends. So the layers will mix, giving rise to turbulence. The image will be distorted accordingly. Here in this illustration we can see the viewer is expecting the line of sight to be straight. However, because of the layers in the air, hot air at the lowest level, going up through warm air, less warm air and cool air, then the line is being deflected. That means that the image is not where it would appear to be. Superior mirages. A superior mirage occurs when the air below the line of sight is cooler than the air above it. This unusual arrangement is called a temperature inversion, since warm air above cold air is the opposite of the normal temperature gradient of the atmosphere during the daytime. Superior mirages are quite common in polar regions, especially over large sheets of ice that have a uniform low temperature. In this representation of a superior mirage, we can see that the viewer is expecting the image to be traveling from a straight line of sight. The actual image is much lower, thus the mirage often appears to be floating because the cold air is at the lower level, cool air and then warmer air above. This type of mirage often gives the impression that the object is floating in air. Here we see an example of a boat over a lake. In actual fact the boat would be sitting on the lake. That's an example of a superior mirage. A Fata Morgana mirage significantly distorts the object or objects on which it is based, often such that the objects are completely unrecognisable. A Fata Morgana may be seen on land or at sea or in polar regions or in the desert. It may involve almost any kind of distant object, including boats, islands or coastline. Often Fata Morgana changes rapidly. A Fata Morgana may be described as a very complex superior mirage. They often include three or more distorted, erect and inverted images. Fata Morgana mirages are visible to the naked eye, but in order to be able to see the detail in them, they are best viewed through binoculars or a telescope, or in this case, with a telephoto lens. Here the top image is the mirage, the lower image is without the Fata Morgana mirage. Here we'll see the same view much closer. Again the top image is the Fata Morgana mirage and the lower image is without the mirage. This sequence of Fata Morgana of Farallon Islands show how Fata Morgana is changing constantly. The last two frames were photographed a few hours after the first frames. Around sunset time the air is getting cooler while the ocean might be a little bit warmer after a hot day. The lower the difference in temperatures the lower the inversion and the mirage shown in the last two frames 
is not as complex as the mirage photographed around noon in the earlier um, sequence. So, let's make a mirage. In the classroom, we will create an experiment that will produce the same effect as a mirage. First, what you need is a glass, some water and some sugar. First, make up a sugar solution. Say 100 millilitres of water and 100 grams of sugar. Now make a second solution, again with 100 millilitres of water but only 50 grams of sugar. Pour in the high concentration sugar solution into the glass. Then pour in the second lower concentration sugar solution. And then top off with clear water in the upper layer. This simulates an atmosphere with two inversion layers. Look at an object through the glass to see the mirage effect. In this case, we're looking at a white cat. What you have learned. Mirages are most common in deserts or where you have hot surfaces. There are two types of mirage. An inferior mirage. The mirage is below the image. Usually the mirage is mirrored upside down as well. Superior mirage. A superior mirage occurs when the air below the line of sight is colder than the air above it. The image normally appears above the object. A Fata Morgana mirage is a specific type of superior mirage. You can create a classroom experiment to create a mirage using a glass, sugar and water.